An armored recovery vehicle or ARV is a powerful tank or armored personnel carrier chassis that has been modified for use in combat for military vehicle recovery or repair of battle damaged, stuck, and or inoperable armored fighting vehicles such as tanks and armored personnel carriers. Most ARVs like a tank or bulldozer feature motorized tracks that allow them to drive over difficult terrain. ARVs may be equipped with winches, jibs, cranes, and or bulldozer blades to help with tank recovery. In this video, we will list the top 10 ARVs in the world today. The BREM-84 Atlet resembles current Western ARVs. The Atlet's typical missions include recovering damage to or wrecked armored vehicles in the battlefield. It also offers maintenance services or transport them to maintenance facilities. In 2008, the Ukrainian army formally accepted the Adlet ARV into service. However, only one vehicle was constructed. This armored recovery vehicle is also being offered to export clients. A modest quantity of these ARVs were shipped to Thailand. According to recent reports, Pakistan has bought 12 of these Ukrainian armored recovery vehicles as well as 294 Aplod M main battle tanks for delivery between 2018 and 2021. The hydraulically powered crane on the right side of the hull at depot can lift 25 tons. At number 2, the M88A2 Hercules. The M88A2 Hercules is a self contained armored recovery vehicle used on the battlefield to rescue and recover soldiers. BAE Systems presently manufactures the M88A2. The M88A2 recovery vehicle fits the U.S. Army's requirement for a well-equipped recovery vehicle capable of towing, winching, and recovering in combat zones. The Hercules can rescue combat vehicles weighing up to 70 tons, such as Leopard, M1A1, and M1A2 bridge systems, and other vehicles. The truck is outfitted with a long 35-ton boom and a 140,000-pound constant pole primary winch for superior and easier winching. It also includes a 280-foot rope and a 3-ton backup winch. Number 3. The BREM LEV The long-armored recovery vehicle has passed testing and is now ready for mass production at Ukraine's state-owned LEV armored business. The lab was created to increase technical assistance and operational maintenance of tank units made up of diverse configurations of T-64X and T-72s. The broom is intended for the evacuation and reporting of faulty damaged tracks and wheeled military vehicles in combat while doing current and medium field repairs. It is based on the main battle tank T-72 and the left is equipped with a 200-meter-long cable winch and a crane broom with carrying capacity of 12 tons for mounting and disabling equipment and assemblies in the field such as tank turrets, engines, or gearboxes. Number 4. The BREM-1 The Russian uses the BREM-1, an ARV that is primarily used to transport damaged vehicles to the nearest shelter manufacturing point, maintenance facility, or repair depot. It also helps the staff with on-field repairs. The BREM-1 is outfitted with a crane capable of hauling a 20-ton load and raising damage or stranded vehicles to a maximum height of 5.98 meters. The primary winch has enough power to pull a 35-ton load, which may be increased to 140-ton by using pulleys. The forward hull of the vehicle is equipped with a spade bulldozer, and a 3.1-meter broad blade that serves as an earth anchor during recovery operations while also allowing the vehicle to perform evacuation and clearance tasks. Number 5. The Liber GBKF The Liber GBKF is one-of-a-kind military vehicle. It is known as Armored Recovery Crane in German, and this machine is outfitted with specialized tools for craning, winching, towing, and recovery. It is also outfitted with armored caps. This vehicle has a highly mobile chassis and is capable of traveling off-road. The notion of an armored recovery crane is unique to the German army. Other countries rely on mobile cranes or recovery vehicles instead. The German army purchased 33 of these unarmored rescue vehicles in 2017. 
Deliveries began in 2019 and were scheduled to be finished in 2021. These will be used in place of the current recovery crane, which was installed in the early 2000s. Number 6. The Bison The Bison is a German Army recovery vehicle based on Mercedes-Benz 808 heavy trucks. The German Army ordered at least 12 of these vehicles. The Bison is outfitted with specialized recovery equipment and is used mostly to recover various wheeled military vehicles. Swans military trucks as well as damaged or overturned stock can be recovered by the Bison. The Bison tows them to repair units or provides field service. The truck also includes a hydraulic crane capable of recovering wrecked vehicles and hoisting various weights as well as recovery winch, tow bars, and towing cables. The maximum towing speed of the Bison is 80 km per hour. Number 7. The Birch Panzer III Buffalo Rhein Metal created the Birch Panzer III Buffalo Armored Rescue Vehicle. It is built on the Leopard II chassis and includes a robust recovery system. When the Leopard II main battle tank was introduced in 1979, it appeared that the existing Birch Panzer IIA2, based on the Leopard I MBT chassis, was insufficient to support the new main battle tank. A new armored recovery vehicle development program has begun. The first Birch Panzer III prototypes were constructed in 1988 and the new ARV began to be delivered in the early 1990s. Germany, Canada, Greece, the Netherlands, Singapore, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland are currently using the Buffalo ARV. At number 8, the KWGT-1 Mammoth The Polish Ministry of Defense funded the development of KWGT-1 Mammoth vehicle, which debuted in 2010. The Mammoth is built around the chassis of Czech Tatra, T-87-88 military truck. This vehicle was designed to operate in harsh climates and terrains to rescue wheeled military vehicles. The Mammoth also provides field maintenance and small repairs. This military truck features 228-ton winches. The rear winch is used to rescue, stock damaged or overturned cars, while the front winch is used for self-recovery. The rope length for each winch is 100 meters. The Mammoth is equipped with a hydraulic remotely operated crane capable of lifting 12 tons kilograms at a radius of 3.5 meters. Number 9. The Oshkosh MMRS The Oshkosh multi-mission recovery system was created as for profit venture. The MMRS is capable of recovering mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, the largest tactical wheeled vehicles and tracked combat vehicles weighing up to 45 tons. It is built around the Oshkosh LVS 10x10 heavy mobility vehicle. These trucks were used by United States Marine Corps and this equipment has a 12.5 meter long three-section boom. It rotates 360 degrees and is supported by a revolving platform. It has a maximum lifting capacity of roughly 45 tons and a 4 meter diameter from the vehicle in which it can elevate 34 tons. There are two primary winches, each with an 18-ton capacity, and the winches may be controlled from both outside and within the camp. Number 10. The WRV The Singapore Army has presented a new wheeled recovery vehicle with better safety and efficiency features, which is a vehicle with wheels for recovery. The truck has a 35-ton recovery capacity, which means it can secure and retrieve all Singapore Army wheeled vehicles including Tyrex Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The MB-2636, a rescue truck, only had a capacity of 26 tons. This new truck is equipped with a roadwork cane, which enables its two-man crew to undertake recovery operations from a number of angles and positions, providing them additional alternatives while operating in confined places. In addition, unlike its predecessor, the WRV is a dual-action vehicle that can lift and carry at the same time. And with this, the buzz has come to the end of today's video, but stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.